which hat to use. Not exactly making any fashion statements here anyway. Dang it. I hate filming in here. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for spending your valuable time here today. As we continue on with the canoe project, hunting canoe project, rigging it up for hunting, fishing, whatever we might want to do, trying to get creative, do some cool stuff. Hey, yeah, I'm filming. What up? Bye. It started raining on me. be done in a little bit. Doors open. Life with a family, right? Today's video, we're going to catch you up to date on the canoe project and we have been working on some stabilizers for this canoe. One thing I wanted to do is be 100% safe when I go out, whether I'm hunting or fishing, and these bad boys are going to help me do that. Um, on, on a serious note, um, you know, over the past several years, there have been some young men locally who have gone out on duck hunting trips or fishing trips in the dark and just small john boats or canoes or kayaks and unfortunately uh, never returned home. Uh, they capsized in the dark out in the lake too far, lost their bearings, uh, weren't able to get back in their boat and uh, and we lost them. Um, and it's, it's, very, it's very unfortunate and very sad and um, when taking on these kind of projects you need to consider those types of things, especially safety factors and things like that. Uh, you know, consider your family, consider your friends and all your loved ones. So I'm trying to make sure to be as safe as possible and to do that, uh, get as creative as possible uh, to make myself safe so I can return home to my family. So without further ado, we have installed some, some little crab arm pontoon stabilizers on the canoe. What we did was on the canoe, we mounted a three quarter inch deck board across the top and we drilled down some carriage bolts that we had laying around and we got us kind of a mounting board for the brackets. We went out and what I chose to do is get some flagpole holders, the kind that are, I believe they're aluminum, but they're paint coated, they're weather coated, so they'll last. They're adjustable up and down, and that's gonna come into play here in a minute. We made this whole thing out of three quarter inch PVC. We bought these pontoons online, and I believe these are Extreme Max boat bumpers. Uh, they weren't the cheapest things. They were about 38 bucks, but I had a couple of Amazon gift cards that I threw out there and were able to pick these things up. Three quarter inch PVC for the extension off of the flagpole holders mounted on the top of the canoe. And what we're trying to create here is a balance system, kind of like some outriggers on a shrimp boat or a golf boat. As you lean from side to side, these pontoons will give you some buoyancy and kind of kick you back up. And you can also inflate these. I inflated these just a little bit. They come pre-inflated, but it's also really good to add a little add a little air to these. These things are working awesome. So we'll go through some of the details that it took to create this thing. We also added a hinge pin to the flagpole holder because it comes with a pin to hold a normal flagpole. So we drilled it out all the way across and we added this pin. That way we can quick connect these stabilizers to the canoe. What we also did was one thing that you have to keep in mind is that this three quarter inch piping will not fit all the way into these flagpole connectors. You're going to have to sand and taper down this three quarter inch end that goes into the flagpole holder. I didn't really realize that at first, but it was a pretty easy fix. Those flagpole holders are tapered. It's really no big deal, about 10 minutes of sanding and you got that sucker filed down and ready to go. So we also chose to, instead of just doing, deciding on whether to go straight out and do a 90 down on the pontoon, I chose to do 245s to kind of distribute the pressure across the pipe. You know, this is not going to be, uh, you know, withstand a ton of weight, but it will withstand a pretty good amount of lean. But when you use these 45s, you can help distribute that weight across the system instead of just a 90 where you're gonna put all the pressure um, just on the outside of that elbow. So this pontoon here, you can see that underneath, I actually, thanks to Rona, you can't always get the fittings you want, so we actually had to get a little creative and get a reducer right here on the end of the pontoon and get some large flat washers and a carriage bolt, and you get that carriage bolt all the way through, get some big washers on the each side of these pontoons, and really makes for a pretty stable system. Of course, you always get a little paint on there because when you're a hunter and an outdoorsman, painting stuff is really cool and fun. 
And you know what, one other thing before I forget, one of the keys to pulling this thing off is this piece right here. This is just an end cap. This is a rounded end, or actually this is a flat top end cap that is set on top of this pontoon with a big flat washer and another flat washer. And the bolt actually goes through it and is sitting in the end cap. And the screw is threaded down in here to connect this piece right here and then this is threaded in so once you set this you can't get in here if you're going to tape this or glue it you can't get in here to this bolt and you probably can't take it off from the outside either so everything else is pretty straightforward on running this on connecting this pvc so i did glue all this uh didn't take much much adjusting just measured it out equally across the board made one side and then stuck them together, took it out on the water and when it was sitting just right, I came back and just glued it all together and away we went. But some of the keys to, to doing this, to creating this system is once you get these arms created, you wanna label these left and right. And then as you remove them, because they will be a little bit specific on how you, they're created on each side. So you want to keep them consistent. And like I said, you also want to sand down that three quarter inch taper going into the flagpole. But like I said, these things are really sweet because when I'm traveling and I'm paddling, I can keep these things just up out of the water. And if I have a heavy load and my stabilizers are gonna sit further into the, into the water as if they were fixed, I can raise them up that way my load will be redistributed right on top of the water with the pontoons better. And I think the adjustability is what's super cool about this setup. So it's not, it won't adjust out, but it'll adjust up. I thought about a system that will adjust out and we could have created that, but it would have taken a lot more work and been a lot more bulky. And I wanted a simple system that would be easy to store and easy to deal with. I can just take these suckers out and set them in the canoe or set them in the back of the truck when I'm traveling and things like that. So this is a super cool system. You see I got a towel over something right here because I'm working on another part of the project that's going to be super cool. So I believe these pontoons were about 38 bucks. I think I already said that. These flagpole holders were about eight or nine dollars a piece. So it's not exactly the cheapest project, but I did have a few gift cards that I was able to kind of scrounge together and create this thing. And I've already been out in it. I've been out in the canoe several times with no stabilizers and I was scared to get up and step to the front or step to the back. I did lean a little bit but it was super cold and I couldn't risk going in that water and it was it was real sketchy. But I've been out with these stabilizers. I have put a ton of lean onto the left and the right. I can get up and walk to the front of the canoe, walk to the back, no problem. It's just been pretty awesome the way it's worked out so super cool project there's other ways you can do it you can uh, just mount them straight to the board you can create a slip tube across the middle if you want to go out of course the further out you get your stabilizers the more uh, the more stable you'll be because you spread out your surface area right but I kind of went in the middle of the road and I wanted the adjustability up and down without the big profile that's what we ended up with Super cool rig, I think it's gonna be great. It's gonna keep me safe when I'm by myself traveling in the dark. You just never know if you have somebody with you, you never know if they lean one way or the other. You can't really control that, right? So and what we'll do in the description is we'll make a description of all the pieces I used, the pricing and the cost for the pontoons, the cost for the flagpole holders and the links to everything, the cost of these little hinge pins. This is probably the coolest part of what I what, what I consider was the coolest part of, of uh, what I decided to do was just these quick hinge pins, whoo, pop these things right out and don't have to travel with them, easy, good and go. It's pretty sweet guys, this thing has been a lot of fun. I got some other things going on on the canoe that are gonna be coming at you soon and we're gonna be doing some scouting here shortly. Man, it feels good to be back with you guys, to get the channel, get going again. Man, last week was rough. Appreciate everybody who tuned in for the giveaway. Hopefully you already saw that video and figured out whether you want or not, but that's all right. We'll do some, we'll do some more giveaways pretty soon. And stick with me going forward, guys. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions about this rig or this setup, any comments, just drop it below. And if you have anything better that you came up with, leave some ideas. If you got any other canoe ideas that you've rigged out yours with, let me know because I would like to rig this thing up to be not only as safe as possible, but as functional as possible. So enjoy the time today, guys. Thanks for all your support. We'll see you on the next video. Yeah.